The issue with doing object-oriented programming in this way is that although for small games creating 10 of these items, it creates a copy of this function 10 times, which is to an OOP developer, very unnecessary because it, it uses extra memory and can hit performance, especially when your game starts scaling into the thousands to hundreds of thousands. And so a lot of this style is looked very down upon to create multiple instances. The, the ideal is to define your blueprint once and then have a copy of that. And what that means in prototype-based languages is you put it on the prototype. In Lua's case, you put it on the metadata table. So metadata, if you're not sure, is a way to have a base object and then every object you copy automatically uses that as a place to copy from. So let me show you a way of defining a constructor function or how to make new things in Lua style. Follow the standard of a lot of OOP languages and make it capitalized rather than lowercase. This simple act implies to object oriented programmers that they can instantiate it. It's a class. So this the class, they would never touch person directly. They would call like new, or they would, if it was a singleton, look for some kind of singleton method, right? They wouldn't ever actually expect methods to work on that class instance. They're expecting to get a unique instance or copy for themselves to play with. Create a function person, and then we'll use a special constructor called colon new. So we use the colon to keep scope, right, from a self perspective. But we've got some interesting code in here, which I'm not going to delve too much into. Just be aware the syntax works to make it deal from an object oriented perspective. So the set meta table says, basically, this is our template. This object right here is our template, and every other thing should inherit from this particular template. However, the objects you add on it will copy from that. So this metadata table, once that's set from a self perspective, you just give it an index. And these three lines of code basically allow you to handle inheritance and all the other oop things that you're used to, but the efficient copying of methods. So you can still do the function style of person equipped, right? And then paste your, and then paste in the contents. So we can still have that right in there and just paste in the weapon parameter. And so this gives you a more class specific way of doing things. So this equipped method isn't copied 50,000 times, but you still get the ability to do inheritance and all the other things that you're used to in OOP. So this is the more standard way of doing things. And you instantiate it basically the same way. You say person, constructor, colon, new, right? And then local cow would be person, new, make sure it's uppercase. And that way you get two distinct instances that you can operate on and they have completely different data between those objects, right? So this one's going to equip the dagger and the cow is going to equip the club. But when you print them out, you can see that they're completely distinct instances yet still don't copy the methods in a very, you know, inefficient way, right? And there you go. So you see the person has a dagger, cow has a club, two distinct instances, but still formed in kind of the more standardized way of doing classes in Lua.